Myanmar's military seizing power in a coup, detaining members of the country's democratically elected government in raids early Monday morning. Elected leader and Nobel Prize recipient Aung San Suu Kyi among those detained. An announcement on state TV said the Army's commander-in-chief was taking control during a one-year-long state of emergency in response to what the military calls election fraud after Su Chi's landslide victory in November's vote. Before she was rounded up, in a statement, Su Chi said people should not accept a military coup and should protest. So why now? Well, the raids coming just hours before Parliament was set to sit for the first time since the election. Troops now patrolling the streets, cell communications are limited, and there was a rush to buy groceries and access cash before banks close for the day over internet disruptions. Most of the uh, telecommunications have been cut off completely. So I fear in the next couple of hours, we might all be disconnected from the rest of the world. This INGO worker in Myanmar's capital says the streets were empty as the city woke up to the news. We are still in disbelief that this happened. And honestly, we really don't know where this coup will lead us to. For me personally, it was my worst nightmare unfolding right before my eyes. Condemnation coming from the EU and a growing list of countries, including Japan, the US and Australia. These are rather disturbing developments. Canada's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mark Arno, expressing deep concern in a statement saying in part, Canada unequivocally condemns these actions which jeopardize the peaceful process of democratic transition. And Canada's United Nations Ambassador Bob Ray tweeting, there's no justification for military detention of Aung San Suu Kyi. Burmese military must be held to account. Suu Kyi first came to power in 2015 after decades under house arrest in a push for democracy. But her international standing was damaged and her honorary Canadian citizenship revoked for failing to stop the expulsion through military violence of hundreds of thousands of Rohingya Muslims in 2017. But she remains popular in Myanmar. What we do know is that uh, uh, democracy has been uh, overturned by, by the generals. The UN Special Envoy for Myanmar calling the coup deeply disturbing. The people of Myanmar need to know first and foremost that uh, the world uh, is watching and that the world is with them. They are not forgotten. Melissa Duggan, City News.